Welcome back traders. This is our weekly oil market update. WTI's price rallied to a new monthly high price on Wednesday the 14th of April, gaining the spotlight among market participants. Traders were rather satisfied to see WTI pick up price action as the sideways motion the commodity was trading within for the past weeks seemed to become undesirable. This week's report we will be focusing on the most important oil market fundamentals as we aim to help traders identify with the subjects that could move oil prices from here on. At the end, our WTI technical analysis will identify key levels for traders to keep in mind. Starting first with the weekly oil market data released in the previous days as they tend to provide an accurate representation of the commodities price. During the past Friday, the weekly Baker Hughes oil rig count indicated active oil rigs remained constant at 337 during the past week. We could say that the reading might be neutral for WTI's price, even though in the previous weeks a dramatic increase in active oil rigs was confirmed pointing to further demand. Moreover, on Tuesday, the API weekly crude oil figure was released displaying a considerable drawdown of minus 3.6 million barrels, which was bigger than the forecasted and previous figure. On Wednesday, the EIA weekly crude oil figure indicated a large drawdown of minus 5.89 million barrels, which was double the forecasted number and higher than the previous one. Both the drawdowns mentioned strongly support the notion of increased demand and thus traders were motivated to take action. Furthermore, the figures seem to justify the strong upward movement for WTI's price, even though it was the IEA release that energized traders to buy WTI, it may have been the overall picture of the figures pre-mentioned that energized the bullish reaction. During the past Tuesday, OPEC's April report was released providing its view on the current oil market fundamentals and its outlook for the next quarters of 2021. It was noted that global oil demand for the current year is estimated to grow by around 6 million barrels per day year on year. It was added that due to a slow start in 2021 after new virus waves from different parts of the world surfaced, OPEC expects more consumption to take place in the second and third quarters of the year. Additionally, in a report released by the IEA, in the past days it was noted that global oil demand and supply are set to be rebalanced in the second half of this year. The International Energy Agency also stated that the fundamentals of the oil market seem to be more optimistic at the moment as the vaccination process is carried out extensively and is forecasted to speed up further in the following months. In our view, the vaccination process could send oil demand much higher and sooner than expected. As a conclusion, we could say that after the OPEC and IEA monthly report findings, which practically saw a revision of forecasts higher, it is somewhat logic that oil traders would feel more optimistic in the short term. Yet, the vaccination process and the virus spreading is closely monitored by traders at the moment as the subjects could determine oil demand and usage in the present and future months. Traders should be aware of unexpected headlines on these subjects as they can move oil prices accordingly. Moving now to our technical analysis, please note this is WTI's 4-hour chart. Now with its strong movement upwards on Wednesday, WTI tested the R1-6350 resistance level but was unable to breach it. Yet, if the upward momentum continues and the R1 is breached, then the R2-62 barrier could become a target, as was the case on the 17th of March when the level was last tested. Even higher than that, we have set the R3-6650 hurdle. That was also seen previously in March and could become a target if the buying interest is strong enough. On the contrary, if the commodities price action is to return lower, then we could see a retesting of the S1-6175 support level. Lower than that, the S2-60 support line is also looming. Even lower, the S3-5750 support hurdle represents the lowest price reached for WTI in both March and April. 
The RSI indicator below our chart is currently above the 70 level, possibly confirming the bull's presence is still in play. Now that's the end of this report. We hope you enjoyed it as well as found it useful. If you like this video, please feel free to share and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time and until the very next time, enjoy solid trading.